वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू दिस अबेक्स पाइथन यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन अबेक्स पाइथन स्क्रिप्टिंग लर्न विद द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द सिक्स लेक्चर एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन आउटपुट द डेटा फ्रॉम द अबेक्स आउटपुट डेटा बेस दैट इज दी फाइल सो देर आर फ्यू ऑप्शन वेन इट कम्स टू दी आउटपुटिंग द डेटा एंड राइटिंग द फील्ड रिपोर्ट is the one of the fastest and easiest method that is available and one of the important thing about this is uh, we can output the data at desired location so for example if you take a example of stress as a data uh, as we all know abacus by default calculates it at the integration point but using this option we can output the data at different location for example we can output it as element centroid right then that there is this uh, element nodal and there is this unique nodal so this unique nodal simply means at the nodes and so on so there are lot of options and lot of location lot of other locations at which we can output the data and this is one of the fastest as i said it is very quick so huge data also you can output very easily here okay because you know this is a field report right so it is uh, outputting the field variable data field outputs into the text file right so it it can output the data only for a frame within a step okay so this is a kind of a disadvantage when it when you are doing this operation manually but as you know when you do the automation of it you can automate all the things and you can get the data at desired Uh, frames within the step or across the steps okay so this is just a overview and going forward we will see how we can create a script out of it first of all we will go we will see how we can use this into the abacus gui and then we will create the code up out of it and we will see what are the methods we need to understand in order to use this method efficiently in the automation process now we will see the data output options available in the abacus ce so there are two three ways you can output the data one is this xy and there is this field output and the other options are available here in the xy in the tools menu xy data this field output and this path and some other options so from these we are going to see this report then this field output okay so when you click on this it will open this field report window then here you can see there are two tabs one is the variable and another is the setup so in the variable from here you can see you can select appropriate uh, variables when you choose the position as the integration point so what variables that you can see here is the variables for which the data can be output at the integration point okay so when you change this integration point to the unique nodal that means the nodes unique nodal simply means the nodes so here you can see the list has changed and now you can see the special um, displacement also highlighted here okay but when we chose the integration point we could not see the special displacement that is the displacement because we cannot output the nodal quantities onto the integration point or the elemental output okay and another point here is the the time step at which the data will be outputted here it can be seen so from the step 1 there is the 17th frame so if you click on here you can change the steps or the frame at which you want to output the data okay okay so from here let's uh, let's, let's click on this uh, let's select the let's say one minus and i want to select let's say this six components so stress sensor and i'm going to output those at unique nodal that means the nodes at the nodes okay now when you go to the setup here you can change the name of the file the default will be abacus.rpt that means report so this is the default name anything any name you can choose here okay and the further options are the formatting of the report file this this file so that also you can do so for example the sorting then there is this uh, how the data will be written the formatting of the numbers 
So that also you can choose. Okay. And then there is this option append to the file. So this append to the file is important when you want to write multiple frame of data into the single file. Then at this, then you can do the append to the file provided the name must be same. So likewise you can do. So when you click on the apply, the data will be written for the stress and the uh, stress tensor and the one minus for the nodes. But what nodes? We are not specifically mentioning the any quantity for which the data should be outputted. So what data it will consider? So whatever the data that is available in the viewport. So all those data for all those components or for all those entities the data will be outputted so so for these nodes all these nodes the data will be outputted so what if i want to output the data uh, let us say at this phase whatever the nodes are there on this phase i want to output the data for that so how do we do that so for whatever the entities i want to output the data I should show them onto this viewport. So in that case, I must show only these surface nodes. Okay. So how do I do that? So simple it is so go to the uh, groups, display groups, and select the appropriate nodes. Let's say from the viewport, then you can click uh, by angle. So now I have selected these nodes. Okay. Okay, let's click on done. Now I, I just need to replace it. Okay. So now you can see there is no 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 nodes has been highlighted here. Okay. When I create the boss, it is not also showing any entities. Okay. But obviously there are the nodes and they we put. And also there is one error message that you can see that is sorry, the warning message that you can see is display group containing only nodes are not supported for the contour plot so whatever the contours uh, uh, that means the contours cannot be seen on the nodes okay there is one little trick uh, by which you can see the nodes like what nodes you have selected you just need to go to the undeformed shape now you can see the deformed shape has been highlighted so when you go to the undeformed shape so now you can see we can highlight the nodes whatever the nodes i have selected so likewise so if i s now let's say surface nodes so now if i click on apply okay so it has created double because i have applied and click on okay uh, that's okay so at this point we have created two rpt files right report files so first is the rpt file so here you can see all the nodes has been written here uh, total 1904 nodes are there and if you see the surface nodes so here the you can see the number of nodes will be different okay only the 727 so less number of nodes are there okay uh, one more thing to note down here is uh, how this rpt file has been arranged so so it always start something like this source one uh, it, it the number goes from uh, i mean it starts from one then there is this information about the step time at what step and what frame the result had been outputted okay then there is this step time okay then again uh, the next thing you can see here the no, uh, the sorting how it is being done so these options you must have seen in the gui right so there it is and then there is this uh, uh, extrapolated or something so so because the data is uh, i mean this stress data is usually calculated at integration point and now it has been interpolated or extrapolated to the nodes so what how the method has been used so so that is the that is it is written here okay and below there is this information okay so like this it is and at the end when the all data has been written then there is this uh, mean max value has been written so here you can see the minimum value are there for particular variables 
uh, and then there is the node number so for which node we are getting the minimum value similar to the maximum value okay and the total is the cumulative sum this is how the our report file has been organized so most of the thing you as i said uh, you can control using this script using the options so for example if you don't want this text this can be deleted or uh, so likewise you have to change the options okay now let's focus on the commands that we require to create the python code so now we have done the manual operation in the abacus ai right so we will use the replay file in order to create the script okay so i'll find the related commands here so this import statement for important right okay so i'll copy those then what we can what we need to copy here is the odb so we open the odb right so that also we need to copy then there is uh, then we have directly used the field report option that also i need to copy so here i'm copying the okay this command we have used for the entire model right entire model node and then we have used for some specific node right so so first of all we have we replace those nodes on the onto the screen so so that also we have done right so so that this is being done using this uh, leaf object okay and after this we can we have directly used the um, field report option so let me save this now let's see these commands in details so first of all we imported some modules then we have opened the odb file and this odb variable refers to the odb object and then we have used one session command uh, in order to set this odb file to the vport and that is the vport1 okay and then we have directly used the field report so we have directly created the field report but before that we have accessed the odb file open in the session so because we already have the odb object we don't need to create a, another odb object so we can directly remove this so we have written this report and then then we created this leaf object and using this leaf object uh, we have set the only nodes to the vport and then we created a field report in this case the field report will be created only for the nodes those are visible in the vport so about the leaf object i think the leaf object introduction has already been given so when it, so leaf object are created whenever we want to show some particular entity to the vport so in those cases we use this leaf object so there are a lot of many there are many built in commands in order to create the leaf objects based on the uh, entity type maybe the nodes elements or something like that so we are not going to discuss this one but the important command here is the right field report so we will going to see how these commands and what are the options are there in this command so we move now we have opened this uh, scripting reference here and we will search this okay so here i can see this right field report okay so here it is saying something like uh, field report option okay so this is not the this command exactly this right field report but uh, this is related to the uh, formatting options or other options that you can see so in the window right there you had multiple options like uh, uh, printing the max mean uh, and uh, printing, the, printing, printing the total value into the report file right so all those options you can for example this again this uh, number format so how we want to show the numbers like in the scientific format or some other format so all those things you can control from this uh, objects okay so he, this also if you want to change this option you have to use this like a uh, session dot uh, field report option then set values and change uh, whatever the optional argument you want to change so move forward uh, okay this is the method we want to see and 
so how we can access this session dot field code so similar thing we have used in here session in the session model tree we have this uh, right field report method okay, so this is how we have to use it the first is the obviously the file name and then there is this append so if already existing file are there if you want to append the data or not so we can use the on and off so the default value is the on by default it will append the data to the already existing file okay then there is this sort item so here uh, like uh, how you want to sort the data so here we have given sort item as node level okay then there is this odb that is the odb object so you want to you, you have to access the odb object and then uh, give a input to this option then there are two options um, step and frame okay. these are so this is related to step and this is related to frame but here the important point is uh, these are the zero indexed numbers so so step for the step you don't need to, you cannot give the step a name as an input you have to give the numbers so the global step number which is zero index so for example the step one if if you are outputting the data for the step one then the index should be given as zero so likewise and similar to the frames also okay these are the zero index values you have to give to these two options then there is this out important op option here is the output position okay so so where you want to output the data so here in our case we have outputted the stress data as the unique nodal right so unique nodal as i said before it is cor it corresponds to the nodal so here we have to write the nodal so similar thing must have been written here so output position position as nodal so for example all these variables that you want to output will be outputted at the nodal values okay so that is the nodal data you will see so similarly you could have used the centroid element centroid or element nodal so all those things we could have used okay so this option we have not used it for now and the very important option here is the variable so variable means for which variable you want to output the data so that sequence you have to mention it here so this is little bit difficult to understand the formatting of this there are many elements to it for example in this sequence you have to give multiple inputs so the element zero that is the string specifying the name of the variable so we will see one example like how we are given here so first you have to write the variable name here the yes correspond to the stress then the element one that is where this data has been written in the odb so because this is a stress so we know that abacus calculate this stress data at the integration point we have to write it as uh, integration point okay so then the element two is the sequence of the re refinement so that means uh, if if let's say a variable has multiple components for example stress we have a lot of components the uh, strengths are value the six tensor are value then the one minus next principal and so on so there are multiple components and multiple invariants also there so those things we can specify here and let's say if if some variable doesn't have that kind of components and invariants so you don't need to worry about this element too okay so here we have written like uh, invariants right so first is the invariant invariant is the one minus then we have written the component so component then the component name so this is the format you have to use okay now the script is completed let's try to run the script so let me open the backers so okay so there is an error name error name dj is not defined okay on the 18 line okay so this dj is not defined okay that's that's fair enough we don't need the reference of dj so let's let's go and search this command the report okay this load from only the peak 
okay so we have not accessed this one this import statement we are not done so we have to add this one so import display group would be tool set as dgo okay so from this module we are we are using this method okay so now we are good to go so let's let's close this OTP and run the script again now these two files are created okay and that's all about this video and we'll meet in the next video so stay tuned and thank you for your support please let me know if any specific points or specific topic on which you want me to create a video so thank you